Hi guys, Michael Shamblum here. I am going to start doing some web tutorials coming up soon, um, and this will be my first one. So I am going to teach you guys how to create a panorama in Photoshop um, using pretty much only Photoshop, and uh, just a simple panorama technique with a few of my new images uh, shot in Gaviota of Sunset. So uh, first of all, you're going to want to load up Photoshop. I'm using a CS 5.1 because I actually like it a little bit more than CS 6, but you can use whatever. Um, and go up to File, and you're going to want to click Automate. And then right here, Photo Merge. I'm going to wait for that. All right, so I like to leave the layout on Auto, and we're going to browse for our files right now. So, here's my images. It's uh, five photographs. I'm going to open these up. And then uh, what I like to do is I leave the blend images together uh, selected, and then I uh, also click Vignette Removal because it will blend the images a lot better than if you uh, leave that unchecked. Uh, and I also leave uh, geometric distortion correction off because I actually do that later and I think it's actually a better process when you do it afterwards. So we're gonna click OK and it's gonna start uh, working with our images. Cool, so our pano is done. Um, it looks pretty good but there's definitely some things we need to do to it now before we um, start actually working on the color and stuff, which I will be showing you guys in another video. But um, the first thing I'm going to do is combine all these layers using Command E, just so I have one solid layer. And we need to start uh, correcting for distortion, um, finding our crop on this image. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is go up to Edit, transform and the perspective tool and I'm gonna correct this uh, slight perspective distortion just get our vertical lines uh, looking a little more straight looks good now what I'm gonna do is go back up to edit go to um, actually let's just do free transform which is command T um, and I'm going to push this image down a little bit, make it look a little less stretched out, give it that wider panorama perspective. I think that's good right there. And now what we're going to do is correct for our crooked horizon. So I'm going to bring down, um, if you basically hold down your mouse on the ruler, which if you don't have the ruler out, it's uh, Command R. Um, if you select down on the ruler and you bring it down, it'll bring out the cyan uh, line, and that's to help you line up your image. Uh, that won't be there when you export your image. That's only for reference. So we're going to use that right now and uh, line it up with our image. And then we're going to go to Edit transform and the warp tool and uh, from this point you basically just need to warp the image to get the horizon to look straight uh, and that's just a matter of kind of pushing and pulling with the different um, the different key points here you can select in the middle and distort it that way um, I am going to select this end point right here and bring this up And I notice there's a little bump going up here too, so I'm going to bring this down just slightly. And uh, that's looking pretty good actually. Doesn't look too bad. So now what I'm going to do is crop the image, or at least find the crop for the image. And it's okay if we leave some of this uh, 
this area that doesn't have image, it's okay if we have some of that because we're going to fix that later. Get a nice rule of thirds on the image. All right. Now what we can do is fix these areas which don't have image. The first thing I'm going to do is go back to that warp tool and I'm going to just bring the sky up just a little bit just to patch in some of that area. So it'll be easier to work with. Now these two corners um, that we're working on uh, we can actually just fill in the rest of the sky using content aware. Um, so I'm just going to take the uh, lasso tool and I'm going to quickly just draw over the corner and then uh, right click, fill, and then content aware. And obviously this only works with simple, uh, you know, simple skies and um, you know areas that are repeatable you know if there's a giant pole coming out right here you're gonna need to do all this yourself with the clone stamp but uh, we're lucky with this guy and we can just do it like this and the program is smart enough to be able to know kind of what we want in those areas that's not perfect but it will work for what we're doing. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Now we have our high resolution panorama and we are just going to save that, save as um, and then I'm just going to save it without the layers as a TIFF file. Um, and that's pretty much it. And now, um, you know, you're going to be ready to do any other edits that you want to make. But um, this is essentially how I do all my astrophotography panoramas of the Milky Way. It, you know, the same application uh, works for any sunset or sunrise or pretty much any panorama that you want to do. Um, so I hope this helped out. And uh, please visit my website or Facebook for more behind the scenes, uh, time lapse and astrophotography.